Good morning, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Wednesday, May 21st, 2025 is the date, 11 a.m. local time here in California. Got, uh, looks like a little earthquake coming into Southern California right now on the live seismograph stations here. Uh, this is coming off of a two-pointer, I believe. Just double check that. Looks like a 2.1 on the San Jacinto Fault Zone towards the southern end. Uh, outside of Borrego Springs. Not a big earthquake, but uh, one of the latest quakes there showing up in Southern California. Uh, still a little bit of activity here across the, uh, close to the border area this morning. Got a little swarm of movement just north of Mexicali on the Imperial Fault. The San Andreas Fault out there continues to sleep for now, but uh, yeah, we all know how that's, in the future, that's not gonna be uh, so quiet. Uh, across Los Angeles area. A handful of quakes out there. Uh, looks like maybe some out around the uh, Puente Hills Thrust Fault area. A couple from yesterday. Maybe one from today as well. Uh, outside of Bakersfield, a little small microquake. 1.5 range within the last 15-20 minutes. Uh, nothing big going on out here across the West Coast for now. If we look at the 2.5 model, well, that removes all of the earthquakes out there. So uh, even though we got a little bit lightened up here in the last hour, it's uh, just a little quiet in terms of larger movement. Uh, for the Pacific Northwest, roughly about the same. Of course, Cascadia Trimmer out there yesterday was uh, quite amplified again. 535 epicenters of Trimmer. Not for sure what's going on with this. Everything's checkered today <laughs> for whatever reason. I don't think it's my internet because uh, everything's running solid uh, as far as the speed goes. Just a little glitchy out there in the uh, internet world. So there's a trimmer activity from yesterday, 535. Uh, we'll check that out later this evening, see if this is continuing there along the Cascadia subduction zone. It's uh, definitely been quite amplified out here in the last... Oh, I'd say the last two weeks or so. All right, uh, looking at the rest of the earthquake map here. Uh, a little bit of activity out around the Utah area. Nothing big going on there for now. Uh, Yellowstone National Park, pretty quiet up there. Um, let's double check that and see what we got. Decided to use the um, a different web browser to check the Yellowstone seismograph stations. Uh, for whatever reason, when I use uh, the Google uh, web browser, it uh, gives me a certificate error. But it uh, looks like it's working fine on the Edge browser. No, uh, really no earthquake activity to note there across the Yellowstone super volcano for now. Actually, it looks pretty darn quiet. Uh, Texas oil fields still getting hit out here with a bunch of earthquakes. Nothing big, just some twos and ones and occasional three. Uh, the rest of the country there, as you can see, pretty quiet. We got one little, what is this, a query blast up there. Little two-pointer. All right, so what do we got going on here around the world? Largest earthquake here. Looks like it's going to be from yesterday, a five-pointer. Uh, so far today... After midnight, the largest one's going to be a, uh, looks like a 4.6 here along the Izu Trench. That coming in at 33.3 miles deep into this area. Obviously, that's going to be adding some further strain here across the Nankai Trough, which, uh, you know, you guys are probably getting tired of me mentioning it, but it's, it's coming up, I think, for some uh, large earthquake activity. Been building up some steam and momentum for a little while. A lot of earthquake activity happening around it. Not so much on it, but when it does, it'll be a, a fairly big. Uh, Hawaii yesterday, uh, a four-pointer down there underneath the Pahala area. Looks like for the most part, um, uh, there's been a couple more earthquakes there around the Hawaii area since that 4.2. But that's quite common uh, to see earthquake activity down there at that depth. It's about uh, 20... Uh, 20 miles or so underneath this area has a lot to do with the hot spot region as the Pacific plate moves off to the northwest that hot spot can uh, can uh, get some earthquake activity down there now it looks like well here's the last seven days of earthquake activity 
Uh, looks like a lot of the microquake activity has died off here in the last 24 hours, but um, that could easily come back at any time. Let's see what we got for the latest Kilauea update. I know we're getting close here to see an eruption. Uh, and I say that because of the amount of time that has passed since the last eruption and the level uh, that we're seeing right now. Let's see here. Check out the webcams up at the summit area. And I don't see any eruption yet. These are all updated imagery uh, images. I know last night there was some uh, some glowing out here. It almost looked like it was about ready to erupt, but so far uh, it has not happened yet. No new update yet from the USGS here with regards to the Kilauea volcano, as far as their statement goes, but I'm sure that will change here soon. Uh, let's see what else we have for the earthquake 3D globe. There's a super deep earthquake. Well, there's actually, uh, yeah, that's got to be deeper than 33 miles there. Which one is that? Oh, yeah, that's going to be uh, 4.1. The USGS not showing this earthquake here. That's uh, 530 kilometers deep. There's the one that's 33 miles deep here. Uh, got some activity stirring up. Maybe on the Nankai Trough. Notice that 3.6. That's from the EMSC model, so that would be right about here. Let's take a look at that real quick. That could be a those that could be a foreshock to something much bigger. Nankai Trough, I think, is um, probably a prime suspect there to produce a mega quake here soon. What is going on here? Today's not Monday. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Should be working. What is up with that? Let me see here. Maybe it's just that. Uh, that Google browser there. Try that and see. Well, this one looks like it's working, so yeah, I don't know what's going on with the other one. Weird, I'll have to maybe do a reset on it. But uh, yeah, there's 3.6 earthquake there on the Nankai Trough. That's into the subduction zone as well. About 70 kilometers there listed on the map. Nankai Trough, of course, is this major subduction zone south coast of Japan here. That's an area of, well, major interest here because the Japanese government put out a mega quake warning for this area last year uh, due to the amount of time that has passed and also earthquake activity happening around it mostly due to a swarm that was happening across the southern end. But now we got some activity uh, resulting in some deeper movement thanks to these earthquakes back here applying strain against this area. Watch that pretty closely. All right, uh, what else we got out here around the globe? Um, South America looks like some activity stirring up in the last 24 hours, but that is uh, a lot from yesterday. The Atlantic Ocean there, pretty quiet. Uh, let's take a look here at space weather real quick. And by the way, we are going to get the member drawing done today. Been working on it. Been throwing in the member names there to the fishbowl. So we'll definitely get that done here this afternoon. Uh, we're still down there in the B flare category. B6.1 coming in. Not a whole lot of sunspots out there that are active in terms of throwing off any strong solar flares. And I really don't see any noteworthy areas here or any areas of interest uh, to watch as far as flaring goes. Uh, overall flare threat, these guys showing a 5% chance for an X flare, M flare at 35. No major roars there in the forecast for now. We'll just kind of watch things, see how it See how it goes. As uh, far as any close approach asteroids here. See if we got anything headed to the planet that we need to know about. That's so weird. That is definitely weird.
Huh. Doesn't looks like it doesn't want to work here. I'm wondering what's going on with this. Now it works. <laughs> oh man, gonna be one of those days. But it's all choppy. Look at that. It's not working like it should. That's telling me something is uh not right out here. Anyway, um, as far as anything close approach, this one's actually fairly close here. A newly discovered 42-foot bus size asteroid. That uh, 71,000 miles here. That's well within the Earth-Moon distance coming in today. Uh, but that's yeah, definitely close. But uh, the size of that, all, not all that big probably create a nice fireball if that were to uh, enter into the atmosphere but uh, even so that's a, a decent number I normally won't investigate this until we're probably around 12,000 miles or so maybe 20,000 miles then we'll look into the details of the uh, the path of that asteroid but I think right now that's fairly safe uh, aside from that uh, everything else looks at a decent distance there storm prediction center it's got to be this. I may have to reset everything today. Because it works fine on this end. That's really weird. All right, we'll just use this for right now. Um, current day one outlook. Looks like we got a slight risk out here across Arkansas, Missouri area. A little bit of a um, tornado threat limited to the east. Looks like mainly some wind and a little bit of hail threats out there today. Uh, nothing big. Next couple days look about the same. Some storms back building there across Texas for tomorrow. Might have a little tornado risk with it. Mainly some wind and some hail threats out there. Texas definitely famous for producing some big hail. And that looks to be the case there for tomorrow. Uh, but for now, folks, I'm going to jump off here. I think what I'm going to do is... Uh, Maybe do a reset of the stream here real quick. Bring everything down and um, delete a whole bunch of stuff as far as cookies and stuff go on the uh, Google Chrome browser. A little earthquake coming in right now to the San Juan Bautista area. Two point two. So things are moving out here. They're definitely, definitely on the move, and it seems to have picked up in the last half hour, forty-five minutes or so, across a good chunk here of, of uh, California. Nothing big, but we got to be on guard out here. There's uh, a lot that has been building up for quite a while across the West Coast, not to mention the Cascadia up here. But uh, we'll continue to watch that, folks. I'm going to jump off here, get this video uploaded. I'm probably going to pull down the stream for right now, do a quick uh, reset on everything, and then we will be back here in a little bit. And, of course, the member drawing coming up um, a little bit later this afternoon. So I'm going to pull the stream down, and we'll be right back with that. I'll catch you guys here soon.